more teasers were posted by Lego Fortnite today, and they are awesome. But first, I wanted to take a look at the cuttlefish image that was posted yesterday, because something that not a lot of people noticed was that in the background of cuttlefish actually shows a treasure map with an X marks the spot style design. It is the only one so far that has this design with it, which would indicate to me that we are going to have some sort of treasure map or treasure buried on Clombo Island. Now today's first teaser was battle new enemies and meet new friends. And in the top left corner, you can see that we have a pirate hat. And in the bottom right corner, we can see Clombo. Now I know that the Clombo is likely going to be our friend, but they definitely are hinting towards new villagers that we have leaks for that I covered on this channel before. And we do have information of new enemies thanks to the PR kit that I was sent that showed off that we are getting a new boss that kind of looked like some sort of mech style banana riding creature, which looks to be the biggest and most fierce enemy in the game. Now I wanted to bring up this image again of all of the leaked villagers that could be releasing into the game. I don't think every single one of these will be coming in this next update, but I do think we'll get a decent portion of them to come with the new biome. That list consists of Midsummer Midas, Pirate Fish Sticks, Haven, Budge, Human Bill, DJ Yonder, Dark Tricera Ops, Sash Sergeant, Monks, Beach Jewels, Adventure Peely, and so many more villagers. If we got all of them, that would be amazing, but that would almost double exactly the amount that we have in game right now. Now, the next teaser that we got at 1 p.m. was the first ever prefab for an airship in LEGO Fortnite. You can see that this one is very bare bones. I'm not sure if it really has the ability to turn all that well. It does have the thrusters on the front as well as the back, so I'm sure it does have the turning capabilities, but this is a very bare bone prefab for an airship, but it does come with everything that you need. It has the balloons to get you up, the thrusters on all sides, and the tires at the bottom to prevent you from destroying your airship. The nice thing about this was if you watch any part of the 24-7 live stream, you may have seen the part where the Epic employee or the Lego employee was actually building an airship that looked exactly like this. So this is definitely something that they almost hinted towards during the live stream that nobody really caught because they just disguised it as him trying to build something unique on the stream. Now obviously in game we do have some sort of flying vehicle with the off-road flyer. If you guys did not unlock this yet just grab all of the ingredients and open up your loom or your lumber mill but this vehicle is really good to drive around and it does have the ability to fly. The only difficulty about this is it only has the ability to fly forward as it doesn't have any turning thrusters. Now you could manually put these onto this, which does make it a little bit better, but I assume that this airship is going to be well constructed, so you're not going to need to add anything to the off-road flyer. Now the final bit of news that we have from today is that when you purchase the real life Lego Fortnite set, you're going to release or receive a bonus digital product QR code as well. So on this first batch of Lego Fortnite sets, because I'm sure there's going to be more, the QR code that you scan gives you the operation Bright Starter Pack, which is something that has been released in the game already, and I'm sure some of you guys have already purchased. Now again, this is just the start, so I wouldn't overthink this too much or be too upset. It is just a free product on top of what you're already purchasing in the set. So at worst case, you can just give this to a friend or have them scan the code instead if you already have it. But hopefully this is good news for the future, and more LEGO sets are going to be released, and they come with new QR codes as well. But YouTube thinks that you're going to like that video video that's up there in the top left and you may also want to hit that subscribe button in the top right hope you guys enjoyed peace